Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. It's Fahad from Motepoeta.com and today I am back with another amazing video for our Redmi Note 11. And this time this is the Spirit OS latest build of 2023. And uh, as you can see here, it's Spirit OS version is 13 official release and this one is the GS build. And it's Android version is 13. Security patch is also all the way latest 5 January 2023. So the ROM is pretty much stable and cool. In this video, I will be showing you how you can install it on your Redmi Note 11. And I will be showing you its Geekbench result and full review. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, let's start from the camera. And in this ROM, we get this simple camera pre-installed. Like you can simply record the video uh, and take photos right from here. And here we have a scan option right here. So, but we don't have a, a lot of uh, features like portrait mode is not available, night mode. A lot of options are missing in this camera. But if you want more advanced features or to use uh, to take the maximum advantage of your camera lenses, then you can go for a Google camera mode from google.com. And other than that, the only few and needed applications are installed right here. And here we also have the game space. That's mean you can do gaming on it. And here we have the gaming tweaks right here. You also have the Spirial Walls. From here you can download the Spirial OS wallpapers and apply it on your home screen and uh, lock screen. And uh, we don't get a lot of junky applications by the way. And if I show you the Geekbench results of this ROM. And its Geekbench result is this. It scored 379 on single core. And it just scored uh, 1664 on multi core as you can see here and from here you can get the google feeds then you can add uh, a lot of widgets to the, your home screen to customize it as i did here we have the wallpaper and uh, style right here then we have home setting options and here we have customizations for the icon home screen app and recent and here we also have the quick actions which are available on the bottom of the quick settings. Then we have MISC. Here we don't have any option to protect or hide the applications right from the launcher. So now let's go into the settings and have a look on the customizations. First of all, the quick settings looks like this uh, still in 2023. So it is just the typical Android 13 look. And uh, here we have the connectivity options, the apps notification, battery. The battery backup of this ROM is pretty much impressive. Here we have battery usage, battery saver, battery manager, battery optimization, and here you can note the battery temperature as well. Then we have speed walls, and here we have all available customizations. First of all, you can read about the team. Then we have status bar settings. First of all, here we have the network indicators, status bar items, uh, sorry, status bar items. Then we have other icon settings. Then we have uh, battery style, battery percentage style, then we have clock styles as well. Then we have quick settings and then we have button settings right here. You can control the playback by using the volume buttons. Then we have navigation bar. Then we have lock screen settings. Here we have media cover art and all available customizations. Then we have power menu. You can also enable the advanced reboot right from here. Then we have themes option from here you can change the phone styles then you can change the icon style signal icon style wi-fi icon style icon shapes and navbar styles then we have notifications and here we have in call vibrations and then we have the misc and in the misc we don't have any option to increase the cpu process and you can also uh, you cannot enable the uh, unlock higher fps for games i don't know why they have not added these features to this ROM. Then we have storage, sound and vibration and here we don't have any sound enhancing technology and we don't have the Dolby Atmos right here. Then we have display. In the display we have all typical uh, options. Extra dim is available. Dark theme is also available. Then we have lock screen settings. You can change the style. Uh, you can change the display and text size. You can also make the text bold and high contrast. Then you can change the color profile. After it, here we have auto rotation settings, tap to wake, and here we have the hidden apps. From here, you can hide the applications. 
so but we don't have any option to enable this smooth display and we also don't have any option to set maximum or minimum refresh rate so after it here we have wallpaper and style accessibility security in the security we have all available options right here as you can see here screen locks are available and face unlock and fingerprint is also available to use in this room so no need to be worried about the security then we have privacy location safety emergency google digital well-being system in the system we have languages and input live translate date and time backup updater rules multiple users and reset options then we have about phone section right here and from here you can check your speedy os version which is the 13 and its security patch is also all the way latest 5 january 2023 so the room is pretty much stable there is no any single bug or issue and yes you can use it as your daily driver everything is just working fine there is no any single bug or issue in this room wi-fi wu wi-fi volty everything is just working fine in this room and if you want to install this room on your admin Note 11 then just download the uh, speedy os latest build from the link in the description and you can also follow the installation instructions from the same link so hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button and i also have a second channel where i used to post custom pro videos like this so that uh, channel link is, is also available in the description box go and subscribe to that channel too keep supporting thanks for watching peace